It was the morning of the 26th of April 1986 when an uncontrollable power surge in the Chernobyl reactor in northern Ukraine resulted in one of the worst nuclear disasters the world has ever seen. Good evening. The Soviet Union said today that an accident has damaged an atomic reactor at a power plant near Kiev. Anger is growing in the West over the way the Russians are handling their nuclear disaster. The accident sent a plume of radioactive fallout into the atmosphere, reaching as far away as the United Kingdom and seriously contaminating a huge area around the site. 30 years later, and very little has changed in the nearby town of Pripyat, evacuated shortly after the first explosions and left largely untouched since. And while radiation has now dropped to safer levels in some areas around Chernobyl, it's still understandable if you don't fancy paying it a visit. Now though, thanks to a new virtual reality experience, you can go there without going anywhere. The Chernobyl VR project is the first of its kind from Polish game development studio Farm 51. We wanted to make this tour interactive because there is a lot of movies uh, uh, regarding the Chernobyl and, and Pripyat, so we wanted to create something that would be closer to the a real tour to the Chernobyl and Pripyat. You are entering the virtual world, you are free to walk to, to different places and your guide is telling you the story of the place and story of the people who lived there. To create the project, the team made multiple trips to Chernobyl and the surrounding exclusion zone. The point was to capture thousands of photographs, 3D models and 360 videos in order to meticulously and accurately recreate what they saw in virtual reality. We have been also recording 360 movies uh, to make a more, uh, let's say, director uh, version of the uh, narrative and to, to also give some non-interactive but uh, really cool looking uh, elements. We have been using drones to, to make airborne filming. We have been using uh, special scanners and cameras to capture the 3D data. It's incredible to see how much the area has decayed in just 30 years. That's why another point of the project was to try and preserve the site as it is now. These places uh, in, in the next years will be fully collapsed. So these years are the last moment where you can uh, really explore the Chernobyl and you, ca you can really grab its digital copies. The project is slated for release in the next few weeks and it will be compatible with Samsung's Gear VR, the Oculus Rift and Sony's PlayStation VR. Can't wait to try it.